Hello and welcome to Satisfactory Rocky Desert and we're at this amazing structure our space elevator and in this episode we are going to going for mass production and we're going for our first next tier we're at tier 3 in the last episode we built this gigantic space factory but within a few minutes I got another surprise for you guys you got to check this out what I made in between the video but first let's see we need 25 more of these and let's load and seal oh. I do need to wait until everything is loaded all right I kind of want to be upstairs when I send it can I can I can we make it we need to walk fast we need to walk fast come on come on come on I want to see this baby shooting the air all right, and there it goes. Oh my God, oh my God. If you only get to have a factory all the way up there, that would be pretty amazing. All right, what did we unlock? Because we now have tier three and four. And before I walk too far, because then you'll see the next prize. All right, in a few minutes, we are going to watch what we did unlock. But for now, look at the amazing structure of our next factory. We are about to make uh, screws and I kind of made a new plan. I tried with WT and it was perfect, but I need to unlock one thing for that and I'll show you in a minute. But this is kind of basic factory setup that works with uh, three smelters for every miner you got. And every miner you got, you put three smelters, you put them all together in one box and you make one big buffer. That's how it works. And then the next line will come in. And well, that's what we're going to work on today. So let's not waste any time. Let's get down there. Because I need to know. I need the, some special uh, stackable pillars. I need them unlocked as fast as possible. Because that's what I need for this build. And I don't have those yet. I know they're in tier 3. And uh, we also kind of need coal. That's also something we need, but we also need these conveyor pole stackable. So, first thing first, oh man, we kind of need them boats. I got the copper and the cable, we will have those things fixed, so I'll get those things. So, we need 40 of the reinforced iron plate, and we need 40 of the rotors, and we're going to kind of make them ourselves. So the reinforced plates are only by screws and they are going to be built this way. So I will be right back with you once I got these manual made, I guess. See you in a zip. So after producing everything we needed for at least one of the things, and I'm going for the conveyor poles first because, well, I kind of need them also for the uh, coal and the power central part so we're going to launch this one first uh, first put 1000 of these and all these resources oh man what a waste why are we even shooting them into space kind of strange but well I guess it's part of the game and we'll have to find out in the end uh, where's the last oh yeah there it is stackable and that's another one now we got those Not unlocked we encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short-range transportation. Yeah, I kind of already know that, Ada. That's why I'm setting up my next factory like this. All right, so I guess this one isn't full. And as you can see, we can kind of speed it up in the end, but it, it will get full in the end. And as you can see, well, I got plenty of copper coming around. In the end, we're going to upgrade the belts, but as you can see, this one is fully stacked and, and that's kind of how you want it. Now, for the upgrade, we are going to use the logistic section. These and these, the MK2 are new, but I kind of find that a waste. I rarely use the steel ones. so. We are going to, because this is exactly in the middle, 
as it is. And we are going to put a normal one. And this is going up there. And now we are going to put one up there. And that one's going to connect up there. And as you can see, now the top one is stacking up. And this is not only for uh, making more stackable production, but also if you want to go up another level, you can use it. But we'll show that later on in factory. I kind of want to use that in that part of factory. But for now, we are going to use a tree. Yeah, I think we're going to use tree in a moment. Not quite sure yet, but 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 I need at least a pretty amount, pretty big stack of copper, and you do need to turn that the right way. So I'm going to place this in my hot bar because I'm going to use these poles a lot. So let's make that number six. Yeah, I guess it can be six. All right, now the next one will come out. And as you can see, you need to leave at least one position between them. And that one will come on. I didn't put that one right. As you can see, it's kind of flipped the wrong way. I kind of do that often. Well. Things happen, and well, you cannot change those things around. All right, now that that one is uh, filled up, and we are going to build another one. I'm not quite sure if this one goes on the top, then they all go out the same way. As you can see, if you put yeah, that one's perfectly aligned now. And as you can see, no, it's not perfectly. It needs to be perfect. It needs to be perfect. If you play this game, you know you need to perfectly stack stuff. Because, well, I'll do you get those itchy feelings. Come on, where's the green line? Yeah, there's the green line. Thank you. Now the next one will go into this one. And we're going to stack this up and up. As you can see, well, I guess that's up one too much, but I don't care. It just looks nice. This one goes up there. And that one goes up there, and that's the way how the cookie comes down. And this one goes up there. Now the biggest problem I have is that the next one is at the back. That's kind of annoying. Hmm. I guess we have to think about for something about that because I do need to have this metal well, kind of this way and if I do this now it will end up at the top if you know what I'm meaning but well yeah in a minute you will see it uh, the top one exit that way so I need to turn this around. Did I do that right? Oh no, the bottom one. Oh, I did that wrong. I totally did it wrong. Yeah, I didn't want to clap. It wasn't worth the applause. Alright, now let's do this right. 
And then we can start the main. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, we could kind of fix it that way. Yeah, we could. All right, so the exit is now on that side, but. No, I could not fix it that way. That's kind of annoying. Well, we'll fix it in a few minutes then, I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, mathematical problems. All right, so the next one. Well, at least this does look kind of cool. But in the end, I do need to have a little problem. I want to build my production line. And I really need to have a production line up and running. Let's finish this one first. So the last one is at the top. All right, this one is going up there. And let's up it. One, two, three. Where's the next line? That one. Zoo. That one's going up there. And then the last one is up there. All right. Now we need to have a little look. Let's let's go up there. Can we go up there without? No, we cannot. So I kind of need to do it this way. All right. Now that we have a good look at the factory, we are going to build our lines. It is going to be a large factory with one, two three lines and a power section so I guess it's well I'm going to start with this section and this section is going to make our well uh, copper or no our iron rods not nothing had nothing to do with copper because the thing we want to make is screws and the cement plates so there are kind of two lines going in here and let me see if i can show you guys the basic of this factory i want to have one in here I'm not quite sure if i can have it this close but we'll take a look at that now where this this is not going to be possible that close But for now, let's see if I can fix this, because this is a lot of thinking. Tink, 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 tink. Can I do this? Oh my, ore is coming on this way. Oh man, this is a lot of med medical... Uh, this is, needs a lot of thinking to do, because well, I kind of want to have one worker producing yeah this is this is the one worker and that worker is going to produce iron rods then the next one is going to produce the screws at least I think that is how it's supposed to go. Uh, I need to go up there for you to see this. Uh, we need no. We need this one. Foundation. I need to go up there. I don't know if it needs to be this high, but we'll see. As you can see, I need the iron rods to produce the iron screws, and. Well, 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 
and the iron rods is going to produce the iron screw but the iron screws is also needed for the uh, for the rotors so we're going to need a lot of stuff and I'm not kind of sure if we're going to be able to do that in this this way come on let me go up there let me go up thank you so this is not going to work it needs to be a little bit different so we are going to need two line that's going to produce come on go up thank you come on yes you can do it no I don't want and I'm not going to use the high one because that is not going to work so we can produce one uh, two three four five this is going to be my first line of workers so it's good the factory is going to look a little bit different than I first intended to do it needs in it needs out and if I'm lucky but I don't think I am no I'm definitely not lucky they don't fit next to each other and as you can see We are going to need to use all the space we have, and that's kind of that's kind of disappointing. But well, we'll manage. We'll manage. The next thing we need are some a bit more workers. Alright, so now that we have one, two, three, four, five, six uh, workers, we are going to make our exit. I wonder if we got already one full. Nope, we did not. Well, it will be soon enough. And uh, now I kind of want to have the exit on the back because that way that way I can curve it around and let it perfectly end this way so we're going to build one more row of storage containers and it's going to exit on the other side that way we should have and I'm out of steel oh come on well <coughs> I guess in the meantime we are going to launch another space bar because well if we're just walking around and getting some steel plate we could do something useful with this walk so I'll be back with you once I'm launching everything be right back all right, we should have all the resources we need. What can we build? Because we can build a lot of, we can even do, oh my God. Oh my God, that's the sound I don't want to hear. So I think we are going to split this episode up for two things. I guess we are going to do the power, coal power thing and ooh, I need to make reinforced plates again didn't expect that 125 of these and the copper cables and that one so I need to make 25 and I will be right back once we've got those so after some gathering and some small crafting we finally got it go launch Milestone now. Long range transportation, as well as the construction of outposts, is now encouraged. An increased focus on the explore and exploit pillar is recommended. Coal is 125% more efficient than biomass and can be automated. 
All right. I guess no coal on this planet. Really, no coal on this planet. Fifteen hundred. Oh my god. This is kind of horrible. All right. It, it, this was not what I expected. This was definitely not what I expected. So this planet is kind of the opposite of the first big map and everything is kind of far apart from each other. All right, we can make the power line now. Oh my god. So I need at least to be able to make a miner and and a coal generator. Oh my god, this is this is kinda horrible. Need to make two portable miners, I need to make uh, five frames. Oh shooty shooty. This is not what I expected at all from this map. What do I need for those? Oh my god, that's going to take some time. So I'm going to fabricate and then I'm going to walk all the way to 1500 meters. I'm going to take some food and well I guess it's another be right back I hope soon. This is going to take a while. So after a long walk I finally arrived at a kind of crazy place. At first I thought it was over there but well it's down below and I guess we need to go all the way around this place to get even back home because well it's all the way down there. Is that also cool? It looks like cool. These look like two coal. Oh my god, there are many animals there. Hello babies, how am I going to do this? I have no idea how to do this. There are a lot of animals here. <laughs> I kind of need to go down there. Right, this is one baby. Right, that's one down. Kind of want to kill the other ones too. Oh, oh, that one. Come on. Oh my god, there are three of them. Oh. Come on, come to Papa. Run right, that one down. One more to go. Alright. I do want to pick all the alien stuff up. <coughs> What's that? Oh, it's nothing. Alright, so we could make even two mines here, but, uh, well, for now, I just have enough stuff for one miner. And I guess it's going that way. Um, well, 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 we need a power. We need a big power central. Well, we are going to make this nice in the future, but for now it just needs to be functional. All right, just needs to be functional. Just putting that one down and well, in the future we are going to make this baby look great. Right, you connect to that one, you connect to that one. This is how you set up a remote call center. 
and now we need to do a little bit of work and lucky we got two of these uh, section because I need a little Kickstarter coal to start this baby up uh, right now I need to start you up and all right now we need two things we need a little splitter around here And uh, uh, somewhere around this baby, there should be a way. Yes, there it is. Should be an entry point. And I guess this is the entry point. We're going to put the splitter around here. That's not perfectly aligned. They say that you can put the splitter just... I never get that to work. I don't know why... I guess it, this is why... Yes, now, <laughs> now you can see. And we need to go that way. And I guess the only way up... Is something like that way, but I'm I've no idea how to. As you can see, this is already not working. Right, let's put that one. Holy crap, you scared the hell out of me. What are you? You're cute. Right, we need to get up there. So this is now working perfectly because this is uh, filling up <laughs> the coal. And as you can see, it is working perfectly. Now the only thing we need is the splitter. That needs to be... Why is it not connecting? I guess it's too close. Well, for now... This is not working at all. I still don't get how they build these things in midair. Because I am not able to do that. But I will have to do, ask a WT to show me how to do that in the future. But this will work as well. Just a little bit more work. Now we need to get all the way up there, and well, I'm going to use need to make that go all the way up. Right, and now that we're somewhere up here, we are going to place another one. No, oh, I cannot place that at one higher. Wonder if this is going to work. Too steep, it says. Well, I wonder if this is too steep. No, it's not. Alright, so that's my way out of here. It's getting a little bit foggy here. Alright, that way we can get out of here and... Well, I kind of need to make this a little bit different, but... At least it works. Because this is a way more better spot to do that.
Conveyor belt is too long. That's not a good thing. Is it? We are going to make you... No, you need to go the other way. Well, let's first check if this works. This works. That's a good thing. Now we only need... Oh, don't fall down. Come on. I guess in between episode and next episode, I am going to set up the power center because that's the next thing we need. We definitely need power. And I guess in the next factory tour next Tuesday, you guys are going to see how I made this stuff all go to work. Because now I have a long walk back to our space station, our space station, our uh, factory. And I need to walk all the way, as you can see, that this, this is too long and this is not too long. I need uh, you guys. And... Well, we're slowly getting back home. What is it? Oh, there's the cop coming. I was just asking myself, why isn't the cop coming? But it will come. It's just going to take us a lot of time so i hope you guys all enjoyed this episode and in the next episode we are definitely going to make this well not this we're going to work on the factory and as you can see i'm already out of resources so i do need to walk a few times to get this belt up and running and get my power plants up and running and i hope you guys all enjoyed this and we're going to check this progress out in the next episode so see you in the next rocky desert my name is Maturius, and put your comment down below or your likes your dislikes i don't mind if only you shout out because that's what i love see you